Landon Dickerson doesn't get as much attention as the Devontae Smiths and the Mac Jones of the world, such as life as an offensive lineman. But three weeks removed from season ending knee surgery, Dickerson had to watch as the Tide won the championship game. Sort of. He couldn't play, but he still made his way onto the field. So on this Feel Good Friday, this is the story, his story, not just of a game, but of a season filled with challenges. The more touching moments in the college football national championship game was when Landon Dickerson took the field for, for one final time. What was it like to go out there knowing that was it? I mean, it was an amazing experience. I mean, it's something I mean, I could have really only dreamed of till it happened to be able to go out there one last time with this team and and just be a part of something really special. Um, it, you know, those those opportunities come around once in a lifetime, and it's it's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. So walk me through the moment when Coach walked up to you. What did he say? How did he tell you you're going in? Uh, well, it's kind of the other way around. Um, <laughs> I really ran up to him, and I asked him if I could take the last couple snaps. Um, after that third and nine where B-Rob got the first down, you know, I, I knew we were going to go into our victory formation. So I, I cleared it with uh, Jeff Allen, our head trainer, and Dr. Kane, and they were good with it. So I, I went up and asked him if I could go in, and he said that was fine. Your teammates, their reactions when they, when they saw you, what were they saying to you? Um, it, we were just telling each, each other we love each other, and we were just so happy. You know, in that moment, we've, we've come so far. We fought through so much this year with, you know, COVID, having an all-SEC schedule, and just, you know, all, all the adversity and uncertainty we went through. And just, just to be able to embrace that moment with my team, the guys that I've been around this, this whole year, and, and what we've accomplished, it, it, re, it was really just, it was unbelievable just to kind of be out there. And When you look back at what you've had to give up to, just to get to this point, what's one thing that stands out to you? Uh, I think the biggest thing was, you know, being able to see friends and family where, you know, I think family and being able to hang out with people is a big part of having a social life and any kind of social life, really. And, you know, that was one of the sacrifices that we kind of had to make was, you know, maybe it's not in our best interest, our family's best interest, our team's best interest to, you know, have, have those moments of exposure where, you know, you may get sick, you may get family sick, friends sick. and. We wanted to avoid all of that, and you know that that can wear on guys at times because family means a lot to me, and I know it means a lot to guys on these on this team. And then more adversity because obviously you do have the knee injury. So what is the road ahead like for you now? Uh, the road ahead pretty much is, you know, we're just going to take it day by day. I'm going to do my rehab, you know, work out, get stronger, and get back to normal. I don't I don't see this causing any issues. I'm I'm going to get over it just fine. And good luck with whatever it is that comes next. And, and also, congratulations. The championship's pretty cool. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much, and thanks for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.